dear students in our previous class we have discussed regarding inheritance and about base class and about derived class and now in today's class we are going to discuss about defining a derived class it means in a program how a derived class can be defined that procedure now we are going to discuss defining a derived class defining a derived class first i will write the procedure of defining a class then i will give you some examples then you will come to know how a derived class can be defined in a program it means how it can be used in a program when you define when you declare a class when you declare a class you can indicate you can indicate what class it derives derives from derives from by writing a semicolon by writing a just a colon here semicolon will not be used okay only colon will be used okay when you declare a class you can indicate what class it derives from by writing a colon with the class name with the class name as look here why declare a class it means why defining or why using a class okay why declare a class at that time you can indicate okay we can indicate what class it derives from it means a derived class is derived from which base class that we need to define derives from how can we define that how can we declare that a derived class is derived from the main class okay it is just by writing a colon with the class name when you write a colon with the class name then it is understood that the class which is written after the colon okay that is the derived class and the class which has written before the colon that is the base class and why you declare a class we can declare in three types by using three access specifiers which are access specifiers yes protected private and public or you can use them as private protected and public access specifiers then the type of declaration the type of declaration the type of declaration the type of declaration is either it is private okay or it is public or it is protected we need to define the type of declaration it means the derived class is of private or it is of public or it is of protected type of a derived class and the class from which 
and the class from which it derives and the class from which it derives so of by like this and the class from which it derives like this you can define a class now i am going to write the syntax then you will understand what this mean here okay now write down the syntax see first what when you declare a class okay write class understood when you declare a class you must declare a class you can indicate what class it derives from then first sub or this can be taken as main class name first class, class okay then derive derive class okay first is class then write as derive class name okay derive class name then after that what we have to do from by writing a colon then put a colon okay just two rows it will become a colon then visibility mode visibility mode visibility mode means here the type of declaration that is this class is of private type or public type or the protected type that is visibility mode then after this leave one space then base class name after visibility mode we need to give the base class name then start after that here function should be return or member data or member functions or protected type and private type all these things after this close the class like this we need to define a derived class hope you have understood this look here when you declare a class you can indicate what class it derives from first give the class name then give the derived class name Okay. After that, use colon two rows. Then visibility mode. It means either it is private or public or protected. Then give the base class name. Base class name means this is the class. Okay. From which the derived class is inherited. Okay. It then open base, write the programming function, and close the class. Like this, we have to declare the derived class. Now. I am going to define what is the class, what is the derived class, what is the score, and what is the derived mode, and what is base class name. Now I am going to define all these things. Now I am going to define you everything one by one. That is first is class. Okay. Then after that, derived class name. Derived. Class name, okay. Then after this, what colon we have used, okay. But what they actually mean now? I am going after this. What visibility mode? Visibility mode, okay. Then finally, base class name. Okay, you are already aware of this underscore. Why underscore will be used? Because space is not accepted. Okay, in place wherever space is not accepted, in that place we will use underscore. Okay, class. Class means this class is in. What is class? Here not asking definition. What actually class mean? Here class mean. It is a keyword, right? Keyword means predefined word. Okay, 
then the right classroom series name of the class derived okay the name of the derived class okay then next this polar what is the use of this polar okay polar shows the it shows the derivation derivation from the base class from the base class okay then of that visibility mode here visibility mode means this is type of declaration okay specific specific type of declaration sorry specific yeah type of declaration or it is derivation not declaration specific type of derivation then base class the base class means name of the base class name of the base class c every a single thing what it defines okay now based on this thing i am going to give you the examples okay how a derived class can be defined by using the public access specifier then how a derived class can be defined using a protected access specifier then how a derived class can be defined using private access specifier by using private access specifier by using protected access specifier and by using public access specifier now we are going to see how a derived class can be defined using public access specifier Look here that is we can write it as public derived class public derived class okay as usual i will make a call so that we can write it okay first we have to then what we have to do we have to give the class name class 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 okay then class name is father okay i write comment here it is a base class okay you know if you put two slashes then this is a comment it will not be accepted inside the program then start okay for father we can give another word we can able to give that is cat name okay name of father it can take up to 50 characters you can give more also okay but here only 50 then integer take age of father okay then after that public and public we need to declare okay then cat cast okay here also you can give up to 20 characters okay we are using character type because this includes only character integer type because age includes only integer type this is cat cast cast means it will read only the alphabet here also it will read only the alphabet then int for the is having number of words okay and then integer he is having number of words girl daughters and boy daughters okay after that we will take here boy okay read it for read okay read data or instead of taking the read data we can also get data 
be getting and will go the same. After that, void, what we have to do? We have to display one thing. Okay, see here. Now, the class is closed. Okay, this is a class. Now, for this base class, okay, we need to define the derived class by using public access specifiers. Okay, by using public access specifier, now we have to define the derived class. Come, just once you go through the syntax of the derived class, then you will understand. Here, class. Okay, after that, what we have to do? We have to do the derived class name. We can take derived class name as sun. Okay, then after that, we should put a colon. Okay, then we have to write the visibility mode. Now, which visibility mode we are using? We are using public type. So, right here, public. Then after that, in space, then what we have to define? We have to define the base class name. What is the base class here? Base class is father. So, here we will define the base class name as fathers. Okay, then after that, start working of this. Okay, then for sun, for sun, we need to write now. Okay, private. Okay, this can be written as. Okay, you can take it as either anything we can take. Cat. Okay, then name 20. Okay, then age salary of a son. Name of a son or the salary of a son. Then public. Under public, we can define void get data. Void get data. Then void display. Void display. Like this, we can close. See this here. Okay, I will write comment for this thing. That is, this is a derived. Write it as public derived class. Okay, for this thing, I am writing comment. Okay. This is public, public derived class. See, this is father is a base class, and here son is a public derived class. Like this, we can define a class. Okay, this is public type of class. Now we have declared. Like this, we can define a public derived class. Okay, now come, we shall see how can we define a protected derived class. Okay, here nothing is different, everything is same. Everything is same. No changes. I will write for only this class. Okay, protected. For protected, derived class N nothing is we have to done just we have to change here protected then father so this will become protected derived class protected derived class okay no changes are there just one day Visibility, just the visibility mode will go into be changed. Okay, like this we can define the protected derived class. First we have declared public derived class. Okay, and the same thing. Okay, we need to write everything for every type of declaration, every access specifier for every type of visibility mode. We need to write the complete class, then the sub. Base class, sorry, subclass that is derived class and the 
takes place. And next, we are left with only one thing that is private derived class. For private derived class also, just here private. Okay. And you will need to write a complete class. For the same class, just I am going to change here as private. Because everything is same. Just visibility mode will go into be changed. So like this we can define a derived class by using different declarations that is different visibility mode that is either the class is private type of class derived class or the class is public type of derived class or the class is protected type of derived class. And next come, we are going to see the next thing regarding inheritance. Now we are going to see about, discuss about the visibility which we have discussed that a visibility mode is private, protected or public. Now, especially a separate topic about the visibility mode. Visibility. I will write first in the definition. The visibility mode The visibility mode Visibility mode means either it is private okay, or protected private or protected or private or protected or public ok this visibility modes ok in the definition of in the definition of the derived class in the definition of the derived class ok visibility mode either the visibility mode may be private or protected or public ok it is in the definition of the derived class why defining a derived class specifies specifies whether whether ok features of Features of the base class. Features of the base class are okay. Are privately derived. Privately derived. Huh. Then next, privately derived or protectedly derived. or protectedly derived or publicly derived publicly derived ok already I have explained ok whether the fee definition of a derived class ok it specifies whether the features of the base class are privately derived or protectedly derived or publicly derived. This is called as the visibility mode. And then next point about this we have to see is the visibility mode The visibility mode basically contains basically contains the visibility mode basically contains the access specifier the access specifier to be the access specifier to be for 
inheritable or inheritable member of the for inheritable member of the base class base class in the derived class okay look here here the visibility mode visibility mode means either it is private or protected or public it basically contains the access specifiers yes it is basically contains only the access specifiers what type of access specifiers to be for the inheritable member of the base class they are for the inheritable member means in the derived class okay they are for the derived class now i am going to give you a short representation of this visibility mode come we shall see the representation of the visibility mode take first as base class okay this base class can be private then private then public then after that protect protect okay it okay. includes this here derived class you can take it as derived class okay. under derived class the hundred three types that is public mode Okay, then private mode, private mode. After that, protected mode, protected mode. Okay. Here we can give a smaller representation about the visibility mode. How visibility mode may appear compared with base class and derived class. Make a table like this. Okay. After that, this is the derived class. Okay. Then this thing includes like this. We need to draw one table here. Okay. Then this is like this. Then here. Put one row for this and one more row for public. See if base class is private, then what about the derived class? If base class is public, then private. Then what about the derived class? Okay. If base class is private at that time. Public class will not be inherited. Not inherited. Okay. Then if base class is private at the time, derived class under private will not be inherited. Not inherited. Okay. And then for base class, if base class is private, then for derived class, protected mode will not be inherited. Not. In here, okay. Like this, we have to give the representation of the base class along with the derived class. See, now if base class is public, then derived class under public mode it will be always public. Okay. If base class is public, then under private mode the derived class is. Always private. Okay. If the base class is public, then under direct class protected mode is always private. Like this, we have to keep the representation of the visibility mode. If base class is protected, then under public type direct class will become protected. Okay. It means direct class comes under protected. If 
base class is protected type, then the rank class under private mode comes only in only under private. Okay, if the base class is protected, then under protected mode, this protected class is always be private. Okay, like this, we have to give the visibility mode of the derived class compared with the base class. Dear students, now I am going to stop here. The remaining things we are going to discuss in our next class. If you have any doubts regarding these things, you can ask me personally. Thank you.